Uh, then again, Ethan had a lovely intro, so let's go with that. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Okay, we're back after what, what has it been? Like one week? Two weeks. Oh, two yeah. Weeks? An hour? Yeah. Too long. Yeah. Is how long it's been. And uh, But it's fine, except for the fact that we don't have our engineer slash person who knows tech. He's taking tech. a nap somewhere. Everything together. It's okay. I'll roll for him and you'll be you'll be perfectly fine. I think of he course. doesn't. I think he doesn't hit a guaranteed success anymore because <laughs> Frederick's dead. Oh, no. yeah, I think he does have another another skull. He's got more of them. I think he only hits like ninety four now, or ninety six. Hmm. Oh man. Doubtful. Uh, if I remember correctly, last time we uh, strolled into uh, a tomb. Uh, there was we didn't have much trouble. We took a gizmo and a battery pack, and then uh, we left, yeah, and everything's fine. Yeah. And now we're gonna put it into our ship, uh, our ship, and get out of here. Yes. No, that yeah. went incredibly smoothly. You didn't lose any murder servitors at all. No one got insta gibbed. You didn't lose the flying servo skull. You didn't lose any crew members. Perfect. Perfectly fine. Everything went just as planned, and we managed to not wake up any necrons. Icarus, yeah. Icarus got seriously injured somehow. I'm not really sure how it happened. It, it isn't a successful fell mission. Fell down the stairs. Okay, <laughs> fell, yeah, fell down the stairs. It's it's surprising how how much you get injured considering how cowardly you are. Oh. <laughs> it's because he's got the gun that he has. To, that means he has to stand right next to somebody. Yeah, he he has the murder gun, so he has to actually be doing murdering. But then he's not so. But then he's not good enough to instantly murder. Sometimes it takes him a couple of goes. Hmm. Okay, so you guys just flew back to your ship. Uh, hmm. You don't really know what the Necrons are doing halfway to the other side of this tiny little half planet. Uh, slowly, hopefully. Yeah. yeah walk, I mean, unless they have vehicles. But Going back to sleep. I don't think they can because we stole their power uh, source. They, they well, they could wake up the other two. Yeah, I mean, they could do that. Theoretically, and you know, others on all the other little half moons in this area. Nah, they ain't got no energy. Can't they? Can't do that. Mm mm. Mm mm. Let's put this thing in. Wait. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, let's see. Grunty uh, would normally do this, but since he's not here, I'll Merrick make this test for you. Uh. It is skill. It is plus ten for IB helping him, and it's and ten I'm, for the captain. I guess. Yeah, I'm telling him to do it real good. More importantly, real quick. So plus twenty. I think he uh, what do you have? Skull. It. Which which do you want him to fix first? To the regular engines or the warp engines? Because he's got two parts. Regular, he's got to put. Because he can right. do the warp when we're in orbit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He can do the warp ones when we're up in the air. And if they explode while we're up in the air, well. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, so let's just have knock and roll for Grunty forever and ever. He, he, does, uh, the, he does the opposite oh, of that guy. <laughs> so, uh, so, I mean, he couldn't have 10 degrees of success. But 10 he, degrees of success. He, he, got, he got it the right way around first time. Didn't even have to flip it over. USB right yeah. in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. So I was going to have, you know, oh, it's, a, you know, d a certain few degrees of success or failure to determine how long until the Necrons show up, because that's how long until, you know, it takes them to put this in. But no, nope, literally, like, could have fallen and it would have just landed perfectly in the, exactly how it needs to be. So, uh, yeah, you... Your, your ship engines are powered up. Uh, Let's get the fuck out of here. So who's going to make a pilot test to get you back into <laughs> orbit? Uh, <laughs> well, there's no... Well, we, you literally hit rock bottom last time, so the only way is up right now. The only, the only way is up. <laughs> Let's see. Where's my, where's my latest token? 
It's on uh, the you're save. just on the player save for right now. Yes. Um. Not like you can crash into anything taking off. Yeah, right? I don't know. I've crashed against a planet before. There's not even atmosphere to get in the way. Make sure you switch the controls from inverted uh, to, yeah. to standard. I'm going to double check all of that. I need to I need to see how, how good I actually am at this at this point. Um so this is this is a reasonably difficult test because it is. Uh, I mean, your ship's crashed here, but uh, Merrick and his tech adepts have done a pretty good job of making the ship at least airtight. Oh, and uh, it's low gravity. I'm your engine. I'm, yeah, it's low gravity, and your engines are back up. So you're at negative ten. Yeah, my icon. I'm my token is still fatigued, and I'm heavily wounded. Yeah, you should be. Maybe yeah, I should. shouldn't be. Uh... Yeah, maybe the pilot should. Uh, you, you you're still actually your better than a crew member. Huh? Like, you're still better than a crew member because your agility is 52 and a crew member's is only 40. So just a minus 10 means you're 2% better than a crew member. But if you do a crew member and he assists the crew member, then the crew member's 50. Yes. But the crew member uh, also can't crew member also though. can't. Yeah, 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 crew yeah, member yeah the crew member also can't. Can. Well, uh, seeing as using every fate point in the world doesn't help with piloting, apparently. <laughs> I mean... Okay, so hang on. Who's... Does anyone else... Does anyone else in the crew know how to pilot a spaceship, or is it just me? I, I have oh, there's, there's a half, other... so I can oh. do it at, like, a 20. Ah, uh, okay. No. Okay, so you can't do it. Uh, if, you, if you tell me the ship's mine, I can pilot personal. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe is, is that how that works? <laughs> I mean, I, I get space think... way later. But... No, 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 no. If you tell me it's a really uh... tiny surfboard, then I'm good. Uh, fuck. Okay, okay. I'm gonna use the skill, I guess, so that I can good then. Job. Could we inject him with amphetamines to make? Do you have Do you have any drugs? Do we Do we have anything drugs. where we can spice him up? Um, Anti fatigue I don't drugs. Think that would... Anti-fatigue yeah. drugs. You know what? Yeah. Okay. And yes. And if you have drugs, and then he can he can be tired afterwards. Like you just need. Yes. So so here's yeah. how this works. You 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 can take drugs out of your med bay right now and have yourself injected. That'll remove your fatigue as far as you know the next like 20 minutes or so. And after that, you're going to black out though and pass out. Uh, I'm, I'm, glad don't, you, I've, I'm glad you didn't use the words crash. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm not. I think. I think I need to be around because I. I have a feeling I need to uh, yell at people. Not if we get off the planet. And we yeah, if we get off the planet, it's fine. You can just go. I'm going to my room to ha think about everything that's happened. You can have a nice lie down. Do you know what? I would, but the fact that Icarus is being like, <laughs> yeah, this sounds like a swell idea. Means no. Let's yeah, but he's really tired, and they're not injecting him with the wake up drugs. So yeah, he's too. I don't. No, I don't trust that guy. We well, I, if you're not taking them, I'm going to take them. <laughs> we could be. <laughs> 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 what are you going to do in the next twenty minutes? Nothing, but they'll be really good. Yeah, <laughs> and then I can have a nice long sleep, and nobody can complain about it because I've been knocked out by drugs. I don't make anyone. Are you, are you doing this? Are you actually yes. going to get injected? No, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna try and pilot I, the ship. I, I am. Yeah. Yeah. I be. I be in mid bay anyway. Getting. Yeah. Because he's nearly dead. Okay. Uh. Well, you're not fatigued anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, wasn't I not fatigued anyway? Because I used the fate point. No, you were still fatigued, right? Or yeah, something still else? Yeah. Oh, it was the stunned. I wasn't stunned. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna click this now. Oh, pretty good, pretty good start. Uh huh. Yeah, good. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna happen again. No, you can't crash when you stay when you're already on the ground. It's literally impossible. Yes. Oh, exactly a forty-two. Well, okay. I knew I could pilot this thing. Your ship, your ship slowly, slowly starts taking off, gently, uh, 
this, this is a low gravity planet, so you know there's not a lot holding you here. Uh, you, you you get off the ground, you slowly, very slowly, you're taking this incredibly carefully, uh, make your distance away from this little planet. To try to get yourself into a stable orbit. Um, do we do we want to be in an orbit? Don't we just want to leave the system? Yeah, we want to get the heck out, but we, we got to... We, we need warp drives. You, you get off the ground. Yeah, let's like slowly oh, trundle back as he fixes the warp, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, what, what is... What, where, where are you trying to head now? Are you, you, you getting away from all of these little little moons? Yeah. yeah. Are, we we, got, are we heading back towards Coffee Planet? I think we are, yeah. But, okay. uh, I mean, just now, since we don't have warp yet, we're just heading away. Uh, the This started by, because of the gravitational pull of the planets. So, we just I just want to escape that. So, nothing okay. pulls me back. Sure. Yeah, all right. You, um, yeah, you start just chugging away, getting getting your distance from the whole system. Get so someone on the, the crew no to, to scan, just in case there's, like, any ships taking off from the yeah. moons? Yeah, you can yeah, do it. Sure. You're not fatigued. No, I'm. I'm gonna be knocked out soon. No, so yeah, I'm that's in twenty it. minutes. I assume you did. Oh, some... okay, I can scan. I'm telling him <laughs> to scan real good. Yeah, uh, you get the ship's detection is a bonus, which is plus ten. So it's plus twenty in total. Oh, actually, it's yeah, it's plus it's plus twenty detection because your ship's on an oh. endeavor. Plus ten from Kano is plus, plus thirty. How could so you fail? Plus how could I fail? Wow! If I can remember how to do this, because it's been so long. Scrutiny plus thirty. <coughs> there, that's how you do it. Well, well I, haven't, I haven't seen it yet. Did he fuck it? Nope. You don't see any uh, any ships or anything on the planet. You, you you can't you can't tell what's going on down there. Uh, you tell I guess, Knorr that I guess if, I should you, if you want to know what's going on, you're gonna have to get closer to the planet. Uh, <laughs> uh, hold on, let me let me. It just, doesn't me just... It doesn't matter what's going on as long as you're far enough away. If you think about it. No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. I'm starting to pass out already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm heading back to the med bay. I think I think that's about enough for Icarus, and he collapses. I drag him back to med bay, making sure to bang his head on every step. I don't I don't think that helps. He's knocked out. I don't think there are any steps on the way to med bay. Well, not if you go straight there. <laughs> so it was, uh, <laughs> could I try a scrutiny test? Because I actually have yeah. the... Okay. And it was plus 30, right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Hey, there you go. Uh, no, you you actually see no sign that there's any ships taking off on that planet. You're actually getting no power signatures whatsoever. Uh, and the other planets seem completely quiet as well. All right, that's a good sign. Grunty, go fix the warp engine so we can get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we just need to leave. And uh, Holt, you should probably... Uh, tell the unappreciated deal, if you can, that we're off the planet. And yeah, I guess I, here's hoping that they're not in the warp. You are also waiting for help from someone yeah. from the cop planet as well. Yeah. yeah, so we should we should just mention that <laughs> so they know. Okay, you, are you, well, they should be in warp right now, so you're asking them to turn no, we around? Can't we can't contact them in warp. No, they'd, no get the they'd, they'd get the message when they come out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So they'd and that would... come out, like, right yeah. here. Yeah. Well, I mean, we Let's don't want to, to we don't want them to go scan here. scan the planets for us, so we must... We need to leave a message somehow. Yeah, just leave yeah, a so. message. So I can't help him, because he's passed out. Well, yeah, this, so. this is a psychic test anyway. Oh, no, I'm talking about Grunty's tech use. Yeah. Oh, okay to fix the warp engine before you actually even do anything else. Uh, so, yeah, Ivy can't help Merrick because Icarus is passed out. Uh, as Kenor is telling him to do good, so that's plus 10. Oof. 
All right, so it's going to take him, you know, four or five hours, but he's going to be able to get that warp engine fixed. Nice. 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 I... <sighs> so, in the meantime, you're kind of just floating here. Holt, if you <laughs> want to send any messages, got plenty of time yeah. to do it. So now. Go ahead and do that. I don't even know how I roll a four out of an eight, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. <clears throat> but that was sending a message to unappreciated deal and the agri planet, letting us, letting them know that we have extricated ourselves from that situation. Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, so let's let me take a look at the Cronus Expanse map right now. Unappreciated deal had made it over to the gas giant over here area, and they get your message, and you get a response back saying, uh, do they understand. Do you want them to meet you somewhere, or should they go back to what they were doing with Sigmund's Folly? Hmm. Uh, that's a good question, actually. We, well, I mean, we need to, like, we don't have enough. We need, we need a lot more crew on this thing, regardless of what we're gonna do. So we need to have some kind of recruitment drive. There's going to be loads of the coffee planet. Yeah, I, I think but... we'll have to go back to Demaris, really. I'm, I'm assuming Demaris too. So I'm thinking. Could we not just get the appreciated deal to transfer some of their crew over, and they could go and pick up? Crew. Well, uh, I'm, they wouldn't have nearly enough for us to. Actually I'm just get thinking alcohol. they should. If if they go to if they go if we can limp to Comfort Planet and then limp to Damaris, they if if they've already gone there and scouted out, like because the issue is going to be like semi-trained personnel, right? Because I assume a lot of, even though of course, uh, most of the important officers didn't die in the in the uh, event. I'm sure there's a ton that just meant, oh no, I'm in the wrong part of the ship and now I'm dead. Blah. So um, maybe they should just go to Damaris and start recruiting uh, more personnel for us. So you have people ready when you get back yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. That. Because, okay. I mean, the longer we stay in, in, in dock to fix the ship and recruit people, <laughs> the less money we make. Sure, you can. We never make any money, that. ever. We've no, we've already made money. When? Well, we've actually only lost money at this no, point. No, 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 no. no. Been... We've invested money. Yeah, has it, hasn't it been enough time? No, didn't we spend? No, not it's yet. It's not been we ninety days yet. No. Nope. Well, so we went back in time. Yeah, we went back, back in time. time. Yeah, we went back in time. But then didn't we take? We... But then didn't we take like? Yeah, you've you've made up the time that you gained by going yeah. back in time. But because of like your little sidetrack there, it, it's not been 90 days to upgrade your colony yet. Kevin, what did you say? I said we went backwards in the productivity because we went back in time. Yeah. yeah. It takes yeah. 90 days. We went back in time a week. It takes 97 days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, according to time. the login here, it's been 60 out of the 90 days. Yeah, so see, we didn't got, get there. You got 30 more. Woohoo! I mean, we did a lot of flying in there. Okay, so, yeah. So, they need to go to Damaris and help us recruit more people. Um, and is, is we're going to try and... anywhere closer? Well, let's have a look at the map. I, I think... Isn't, like, the... Isn't the problem more that we don't really trust that many other people? Well, like... You don't know so a lot that, about it's... any of the areas here. Yeah. yeah. And, like, the Coffee Planet probably won't have that many people that would be up to join a ship because they're already working for another rogue trader. And on, like, Miurus and Area, those aren't planets with people on them anyways, right? It's Correct, just... yeah. 
and we're not going to Lacristy. It's basically <coughs> it's Footfall or Damaris is closer, but I think Damaris is closer, and we already know the warp route yeah. anyway, so should be good. Yeah, yeah, I think Damaris is the best bet then after Coffee Planet. Okay, so yeah, we'll send the unappreciated deal to Damaris. Um, tell them if they, they get any like storm boulders or anything to, to keep them on order as well. <laughs> uh, so you don't get a response from the rogue trader coming from the coffee planet. Uh, it's not really a rogue trader, it's just one of his ships that mm -hmm. was coming to, to help. Um, you're assuming it's because they're in the warp. Uh, yep. Are you planning to wait for them or are you going to just go there yourself or what are you going to do? I mean, what's what's the what's the etiquette here? Is there one? Because otherwise, uh, I think we should just get to the coffee plan as soon as we can. Well, I I mean, you called for help, and then you're not going to be there when they said they. Do we help. leave like a boy or something? They're gonna get there, and all those necrons are gonna be away. Um, well, the next well, we've left them like we left them a message, right? You left just in case they don't you get. You sent a message into the warp, yeah. Whether or I not mean, they get it is just kind of up to the warp. Okay, but hang on. I mean, let's... like what? The, 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 so I don't, I don't think the dude's going to be grumpy that we did. Well, he probably would be because he's a fucking idiot. What's but the, I don't think uh... he's going to be grumpy that we didn't stay in danger for no reason. Where? So, so what's the what's the math here though? Like we know that we we were on Pasmus for for quite a while because we repaired all the things that could be repaired before. We did the very daring tomb raiding. Right, you were there for a couple days. You were there for yeah. like four days. And how long uh, does it take to go from Coffee Planet to Pasmus? Their if... their message said that they would be there in about three weeks. So it's about two and a half weeks you'd have to wait here. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's not happening. Yeah, exactly. Fuck them. So then we need to leave a message and a buoy or, or something behind so that they know that we've left. Like, there are ways, because otherwise communicating with actually anybody in the entire universe is impossible. Because, I, I it, because, because one party is always in the warp and one party isn't. Yeah, no, I mean, you can you can leave a beacon with a message. Yeah. That's not a big Good. deal. Then, then we're going to do that, because I assume this happens from time to time. Yeah. Okay, sure. So we are gonna let Grunty fix uh, our our warp, and then we're gonna do a double check on our ship again because I don't want to have any demons jump on while we're in the warp if we can help it. Okay. Uh, uh, also, I think I should go to med bay because I'm <laughs> I'm really wounded. Yeah. So okay. My room. We can. Oh, I'll go to the player save here and I'll heal you guys up because you're gonna have plenty of time now. Uh, what, what are you leaving, what message specifically are you leaving, uh, in, uh, well, yeah. leaving the message, uh, manage to repair ship, uh, leaving to go to, uh, coffee planet, or whatever the planet is called. Don't go to, it's like, just, just leave the place, it's awful. Yeah, yeah. They need to... But don't, it's, but don't go, like, too overboard, because then you'll go, Ooh, what are they trying to hide? Yeah, uh, just mentioned that... Uh, we also mentioned that there's a dangerous gravitational pull towards the planet, and they need to be aware of it. That's <laughs> what got us caught in the first place. So oh, they should yeah. stay far away. Okay. So you leave a small, non-specific warning. Uh... A little bit of navigational details and a message saying that you're heading back to their agricultural mm -hmm. planet. Yep. Sure. And then I guess, well, we just wait for Grunty. And then we leave. And then okay. everyone gets to have pancakes. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll have Barbaretta make her rolls here. And I hope we get a demon incursion. Oh, it's the only thing I'm scared of. 
No, why, it's why fine. Did, did, I, did our stupid garbage we picked up so that never have to happen ever again? Did that survive? Which did what survive? The stupid garbage we did so we wouldn't have to fight demons on the ship anymore because it's boring. Did that I survive don't think, the I don't crash? Think we, I don't think we oh, managed to fight. Yeah, oh, we, we didn't actually didn't do, do that. that. Oh, I thought we just did that because we all agreed that fighting demons on the ship is really boring. Uh, we were going to, but then we failed the rolls to actually acquire it. I, no, I just thought that because it was really fucking boring and dull and we just didn't want to do it anymore. But, so here, sure. here's Barbaretta's rules. I'll just copy paste them. Makes it simple. Oh, uh, I can't do that. It doesn't like it. All right. So anyway, I'll, I'll just read it out to you. Uh, basically, encounters none. All's well. On board time. She rolled really well. Uh, her estimate was off a bit, but uh, on board time, it just takes you three days to get back to the agricultural planet, and real time, it takes you nine days. Nice. It's such a fast fucking ship. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Even when it's super broken. No, it's, it's not even super broken. We fixed it. It's just still pretty broken. I mean, we're just running slightly low on personnel. And hull integrity, well, I think, is no, it? No, hull integrity is fine. Is it, is it full? Moving no, you guys over to we're only at 6 of 30 for hull integrity. It's fine. 6 of 30. It's so. fine. Mm. You don't you have to roll to deceive if you're going to say that. It's uh, fine. Not if he doesn't think he's lying. Also, I don't think I have deceive. If he's deluded enough. Yeah, if he thinks it's the truth, then he's not. Like he's not trying to deceive you. So he doesn't. Okay. So you guys make it to the agriculture world just fine. Um, the people there are a little bit confused because it's a long time before any of the ships were supposed to be it's back. It's fine. Um. You know, you're, are, are you asking to dock in their space station? Are you just orbiting here? What's your plan? Uh, well, what can they... Can we do any repairs here? Yes, uh, they they have a full station in orbit here. So you could dock and repair your ship here if you needed to. Well, we can, we're kind of low on hull integrity, so... Uh, I mean, you're, you're at the... Yeah, we're fine. You, you know, this is this planet owned by another rogue trader, so you're yeah. docking here on their goodwill. So it depends on, you know, how friendly you think they'll be when... Well, I assume he didn't go himself. No, 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 no. So it's, he's, it's, he's not it's, even we, here. Well, when we have to yeah. owe them anyway because they came to rescue us. So. Yeah, but do you really want to double owe them? Well, it, I mean, it, here's... So, I, I mean... It depends. What's what's the what's the expected financial and social cost of repairing here here compared to say Damaris? Well, uh, I mean, here you're using his facilities. Uh, I mean, you're purchasing stuff from him to repair the ship, but I mean, it's you're taking up uh, you know a slot in his space station right now, mm -hmm. so it's going to slow down his commerce at least a little bit. Uh, you know, it, it, it's a minor inconvenience for him, uh, and it's you also had him send a ship to somewhere, and then you weren't there, so he'll probably be minorly annoyed about that at the least. Uh, so, I mean, Maybe it, it's up to you if you think. And well, he's not he here. So. Well, he's not no. there. You could oh. send him a message or something, but yeah, like like a personal message. Okay, like I'm I. So, I'm... Uh, well, John, John Silk knows more about this than I do. So... Hang on. Um. I mean, there was, like, there was loads of rogue traders here, wasn't there? There was, like, the bar with multiple dudes in here. No, it's not that's like, that was Damaris. Yeah. Uh, I thought that so... was here. No, that was uh, my administratorum is actually uh, uh, rogue trading. Oh, okay. So uh, I'm gonna go with that, and I want I want to I want to use my own. Uh, since since I know about this stuff, what's the best course of action here? Like, wh where is the the risk of limping to Damaris compared to fixing the ship here? Okay, so if you stay here and fix the ship, 
you're going to owe him either a big favor or a, a couple points of profit factor. Mm -hmm. uh, favor. The the uh, good side of that is your ship will be in much better condition should anything happen in the warp on the way to Damaris. Uh, on the other hand, you have a very fast ship. You have known warp routes, and I'm as far as you. Uh, you know, as far as Merrick's telling you, the warp engines and your regular engines are working just fine at this point. Uh, I mean, your hull integrity's yep. down, you're low on crew, but Let you could quickly get there. Let's go to Damaris. Okay. If there's one thing I don't like, it's losing money or profit factor. But, but now, he's going to be like, well, why did they leave so fast? Why didn't they stay with my things? Did they just lure my ships away? Are they jerks? Well, I mean, all rogue traders are jerks. It's part of the deal, kind of. It's true. Every uh, rogue trader I've known has been a jerk. As an elder, <laughs> I am extremely shifty and good at the political game. And I think that whatever you do, he's going to be annoyed. So just do whatever you want. Yeah, that's kind, of one, that's kind of my thinking, too. Like, I mean, he's got a coffee planet. Doesn't even have a mining colony. And he didn't even give it a good name, so... Yeah. No, we're, go we're going to Damaris. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm making, then... Uh, are, you, are you going straight from... You're, you're, you're no, taking we're going... We're, we're, you know, yes. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Barbaretta rolls incredibly well again. Um, your onboard trip time to Myris is two days. In real time, you arrive 11 days before you left. God yes. damn. <laughs> yes. And fuck, we're never going to make any money this way. And that's why I said, God damn it. That's not exactly always a good thing to go back in time. Uh, so basically, could, could we call the Agri Planet and tell them not to come rescue us then? No, we haven't, like, we've just left Pasmus. Alright. Because it took us nine days to hit the Agri Planet. <sighs> well, yeah. at least we can meet up the unappreciated deal when they show up in, like, two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Going back okay. in time is good as hell. I don't, you guys, I don't want you guys to... Do so... It. For fuck's sake. This is when Barbaretta is going to mess up and we're going to end up at uh, Lacrosity. Okay. Lacrosity uh, in the next. Ten years in the future. Yep. Your next trip. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, her estimate is incredibly wrong. Three degrees of failure. Uh, she charts the course fine, navigates warp perfectly fine. Uh, she exits the warp perfectly fine, encounters all is well. It takes you two and a half days your time uh, to get to area. Let me go adjust the uh, player save times again. Okay, uh, your time, local time. Uh, okay, and then you end up 16 days before you left. <laughs> Oh, fucking damn it. Oh. Why are you guys mad? We killed more money than ever before. <laughs> Can we contact the coffee planet now? Would that work? Um, I think it still wouldn't because I believe we spent uh, a week and a half repairing on Pasmus. Yes. Oh, that's right. You did. Yes. Uh, okay. So, like, Complete. I think it's still too late to contact Agri. It this is like, maybe when we get to Demo. Yeah, so, so uh, yes, yes, it would be too late to contact Agri and tell them not to leave. But if we, we still, if we go back in time when we get to Damaris, then we would be able to. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah. Listen, stocks are at all time high from early investment in the. Mining thing. It, this also means that uh, our other ship, like, is still at Sigmund's Folly. Like, they're just getting prepared to leave to come save us. So we're 
probably going to see them at Daenerys at some point. Well, we're going to be at Daenerys and then they're going to arrive like three weeks later. It's going to be really weird for them because if we send them a message now saying we're okay, then they're <laughs> later on going to get a message from us saying, Hey, we just, we just got off the planet. This is what happens when you have a very fast ship. But they got the but they're gonna get the message in the right order anyway. If we just don't send them another message. Yeah. 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 Like we're just going to be there, like almost a month in advance. And we'll just go, we go back in time again. Yeah. And we'll just go warp stuff. Don't worry about it. Sigmund won't get it because he's stupid. I I I so okay. I'm not a fan of this warp route. Fucks with area my... area to Damaris. You roll perfectly fine. Uh, for an encounter, you get a warp storm, which throws Barbaretta off course, badly oh. off course. Ooh. You only take one day in the warp. <laughs> oh god! Real time. Yeah, move your ship. Real time, though. Forty-three days has passed. Fine. <laughs> We're good. We our profit back on that planet, or profit okay. on that. Yeah, we're like a week away now. Okay, so let's let me. Forty-three. Damn. Yeah, you are at eighty-five days out of ninety for your. Complaint. Yeah, see. Uh, okay. It's good. Yeah. Okay. So, for all of you, it has been 255 days local time since you started out. In universal time, it's been 518 days, and you're at 85 days as far as your colony goes. It's not bad. Okay, so, you get to Dam Damaris. Uh, the unappreciated deal is there. <laughs> well, how Amazingly. Long they, how long would they have been there, then? Uh... 20, 40. For like 19 days already. So they've been there like, you know, just over two weeks, almost three weeks. Uh, they have. Hmm. Proof no, crash. Okay. Oh, you, uh -huh. you dropped out. Can you say that again? Me? Oh, yep. sorry. Uh, yeah, you, you're at Damaris. Uh, you're, the unappreciated deal has been there for just over two weeks, almost three weeks now. They have crew for you, uh, and someone needs to make an acquisition roll to, for, for crew. Okay. Uh, what is it? I, what do I roll? Uh, you're rolling against your profit factor. Uh, crew here is easy to get. Okay. Uh, nothing special I'm there. I'm just going to roll a d100, and we'll see what happens. Yep. Uh, let's see. That's uh, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. So, do you want to fake point that, or do you want to use that? Well, I mean, how often can I roll for it? Uh, I because mean, assuming we're still gonna we're gonna be here for a while to repair. It our depends on parts. how long you want to stay. This is this is for the crew that the unappreciated deal has. This is the crew that Sigmund captaining the unappreciated deal. Has gotten for you. Okay. Like, yeah. Well, if if that's the case, I don't think we need to re-roll it. Because, mainly because we're still going to be here for a bit. So then uh, me and Icarus can go look for crew. Okay. Mostly because I don't want to use my fate point until sure. some, unless something horrible happens. Okay. Well, uh, so the crew that Sigmund has found for you uh, are, are terrible. They're absolutely terrible. I mean, it's, it's literally just a body count of enough people to fill the ship, and they have absolutely no skills whatsoever. They're, ro they're, you know, they're, they're at like oh, a they five. Also None of them have been trained. No, they're not traitors, as far well, as I know. Well, then it's better than Knothon so far. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What? I, I did not hire any traitors. As far as I know, you're in charge of hiring. No, I'm not. I'm not in the charge of personnel, I'm in charge of money. You didn't hire the traders, you just invited them on board, it's different. Just invited them on board and let them go wherever they pleased. Didn't let me line them all up and shoot them with one really big bullet. Big bullet? Well, if you line them up, you don't have to shoot them with a big bullet, you just need a small bullet, just go along the line. 
You're just jealous because I killed them all and you didn't get to kill them. It's not what it's about. I'm, re I'm, I'm results orientated, so... You know what? Just looking at this trip, I have caused a whole lot more pain than you have. <laughs> yeah, but I, I still get to feed, so it's fine. Infinity. Actually, actually, no. I killed like 27,000 people. Did hang on? No, I pressed that button. You just listened to no, it. No, I pressed the button. I'm uh, the guy in the gun room pressing the button. Yeah, in my yeah. ship. Oh, yeah, uh, oh, I see. That's how that works, is it? Mm. Ethan killed a ship, but Kanor bombed the planet. That's true. No, I got it wasn't the button. a massively listen. populated planet. Listen, it says here every kill session is two. Equals me, like 25k people. Says right here, I did it. No, I'm, I can't argue with your notes. But what I can do is say, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye, Bye. YouTube. Bye, YouTube.